In this video, I will identify a few different infinite series. The first one is the sum of 6 times the quantity 3 to the n minus 1 power. And n begins at n equals 1, and it goes on forever. We don't have an ending term, and that's why it's called an infinite series. And we don't have an ending term because we don't have some end number, number for, for n. So what we get here, I'll start this real basic for this geometric series. This is a geometric series because we have some constant multiplied by uh, some number raised to some, some changing exponent, some, some ratio is what that is. So that's, that's what a 3 would be. Okay, so we have 6 times 3 to the n minus, or n minus 1. So when, if n is, begins at 1, then that's 1 minus 1. Plus, and we say plus because of this summation, and that's the difference between a series and a sequence. The series is being added up. So, so the next one, when n equals 2, we have 6 times 3 to the 2 minus 1, plus 6 times 3 to the, now n is 3, 3 minus 1, plus 6 times 3 to the, now n is 4, 4 minus 1. So that's 6 times 3 to the 0, plus 6 times 3 to the 1st, plus 6 times 3 squared, plus 6 times 3 to the 3rd. And going on with this, 6, remember we do exponents first before multiplication. So every one of these is going to look like this. And finishing this, 6 times 1, 3 to the 0 is 1. So 6 times 1 is 6, plus 6 times 3 is 18, plus 6 times 9 is 54, plus 6 times 27 is 162, and so on and so on. So... And I, and I write this plus dot, 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 because really uh, they are infinite series. But we were just asked to write the first four terms, so that's what we did. Next one. This one is called an alternating series, and that is because of this. We have some negative, and it's, it's changing. The exponent on that is changing, so this is... Uh, an alternating series going from positive to negative and back and forth. So notice we have n plus 1 in the, in the exponent now. So now this would go negative 1 to the 2 because we start when n is 1 and so 1 plus 1 is 2. So multiplied times 1 over 1, n is 1 here, plus negative 1 to the 2 plus 1, so negative 1 to the 3 times 1 over 2, right? That is where n equals 2. Just to clarify there, and in case you were missing that, plus negative 1 to the 3 plus 1, so that is 4, right? Because we're at the we're at the third term here, where n is 3, multiplied by 1 over 3, plus negative 1 to the fifth, that's 4 plus 1, times 1 over 4. And you can see the n's going 1, 2, 3, 4. So these, these denominators are n. Okay. That would be negative 1. Negative 1 to a positive gives you a positive. Uh, negative 1 to an even power gives you a, a positive number. And negative 1 to a, an odd number gives you a negative number. So this is positive 1 plus negative 1 half plus positive 1 third plus negative 1 fourth. And that is an infinite series. It just goes on and on. Next one. This one is called a power series. And it is called that because you have a variable raised 
to an n power or n minus 1 or something like that. But we'll just go with the n power here. So this is a power series. So you have some constant multiplied by uh, x to the, to the n. And our constant here is n plus 8. Notice that we're starting when n equals 0. So we have 0 plus 8 raised to or times x to the 0 plus 1 plus 8 times x to the first plus 2 plus 8 times x squared plus 3 plus 8 times x to the third. And notice now on our fourth term, n equals 3, because again, we started with n equaling 0 on these power, power series. That's what will happen. So uh, let's, let's write these out. You've got 0 plus 8 is 8. So 8 times now x to the 0 power is just 1, right? So, so we just write 8 there. So 8 plus now 9x plus 10x squared plus 11x to the third and so on. So that would be your power series always starts with a, a constant term.